Hi everyone, I am back with another at home science experiment. This is a bonus demo, it is not in the book, so this is actually just an extra one that I really like to do. Uh, I wrote it back in May, we shot it uh, for the photo shoot, but it just didn't make the cut when we went through and put all 25 together, so I'm super excited to be sharing this one for you today. Uh, the reason I like this bouncy egg demo is because it takes a couple days, and what's beautiful about that is with quarantine, we kind of need something to look forward to, so this is something you set up and then you can check it the next day and then usually it's ready to go the following day, so about 48 hours. So for this one, you need vinegar. I usually use white vinegar, but do whatever you want. You need a cup or a bowl, um, but I prefer like something that is thin and narrow, so tall and narrow is usually the best way instead of like deep and wide. You'll also need some food coloring. I like the blues and the greens for this one the best, and then you need an egg. Okay, and you can do this as many times as you want with as many eggs as you want. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick up your egg and you're going to put it into your cup. Um, you'll notice that I'm doing all of this on a tiny baking sheet. That's just for me is easier so that I can move it around just in case my husband needs a table or something like that or so I can move it away from my cat actually. Um, so once your, uh, your egg is in your cup, you're going to grab your vinegar and I actually don't use much science or accuracy here. The big thing is you need to cover your entire egg with the vinegar. So you just want to make sure that the whole egg is submerged. So you can see with mine that the egg's at the bottom and then my vinegar line is directly above it. Um, so just cover the entire egg. Step two, add as much food coloring as you like. So I maybe going to do like one, two, three, four, five drops and then I kind of like to watch it and see how it goes. Um, so you can see for mine, it's slowly starting to become a homogenous mixture. And as soon as you've got this homogenous mixture, which I'm ready to go, you put your egg down and then you walk away for 24 hours. So what you can see is that I've started to get some kind of like film and a gunkiness on the top of my egg. I'll bring it closer. So you can see the bubbles filming on the outside of the egg, and I'll talk about that science tomorrow, but I really want to point out the fact that the top, and I'll get a top-down shot of it, it looks like just absolutely nasty and gunky. So what I'm going to do here is put on a pair of gloves. You can put your hand directly in here if you want to, but I just don't like how it feels on my hands, and I think there's a little bit of that, like, knowing that it's acetic acid getting on my hands is just, like, too much for me. So the one thing we're going to do is just rotate our eggs. So you want to just make sure you flip it around about 180 degrees so that the side that was at the bottom of the, the cup is now at the top and that's all I'm doing with there. Gloves are off, very simple, that's all you have to do. However, personally, I really like to be able to compare a fresh egg to a 24 hour old egg and a 48 hour old egg. So on day two, I always set up another egg. So same thing as before, we're gonna take our egg, put it into our container. Now, I'm a scientist, so I like to hold my variables like as constant as possible, so I like to keep using the same exact glass. So if I use this glass for day one, I wanna use the same glass for day two. So now, as before, we're gonna take our vinegar, and just make sure we completely submerge our egg in vinegar or our acetic acid. Once it's covered, you can cap your vinegar. And now I like to add food coloring. I like to add a different color so that it's obvious that this was 48 hours ago and then this will be 24 hours. So I'm gonna use green for day one and then blue for day two. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then we can watch. This will become another wonderful homogenous mixture in just a second here. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Man, I love that color. All right, and so then all you have to do is put it down and walk away for another 24 hours. All right, day three, we are finally on our third day of the bouncy egg experiment. I have got my green egg, which we set up 48 hours ago, my blue egg, which we set up 24 hours ago, and then I also have just a regular old egg so we can compare at the end of this. Um, I also have two bowls of water. Usually what I would do is rinse my eggs off in the sink while I'm trying to get the, all the shell off, but because I'm here for you guys, I'm trying to do it in bowls, so we're gonna make that work. You do not need to wear gloves. I just like to wear gloves because acetic acid reminds me of lab, and lab makes me think I need to be wearing goggles and gloves, so I'm just gonna protect my hands. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the one we did 48 hours ago. We're gonna reach in. It already feels like super, oh man, that feels so cool. It's like gel-like, it's definitely swollen. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna dunk it in my water. All I'm doing is dunking it in. Pretty much all the eggshell is gone off of this. And if I grab my paper towel, what I can do is basically rub the exterior layer off. Um, so let me show you. 
what that means. And so you can kind of see that darker part on the inside and then the lighter part on the outside. So the eggshell itself is made up of calcium carbonate. And so calcium carbonate is a salt we see all over the place. It's in our chalk, it's in limestone, it's, it's literally all over. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a second here and rub all of this off so that we have our just our membrane on the inside exposed. While I'm cleaning the egg, let me take the chemistry a little bit deeper. The acetic acid from the vinegar reacts with the calcium carbonate on the eggshell to have a neutralization reaction. This reaction produces the bubbles on the surface of the egg that we saw earlier. Back to the egg. Okay, so I've removed all of my eggshell or all of my calcium carbonate. I've done this all in one bowl, so I'm gonna switch over to another bowl to give like a fresh queen, queen, clean little dunk right there to clean off the egg. So now I'm gonna bring this to you all, try not to drip all over my dining room table. And so what you can see is the egg looks just like awesome. It is completely glowing. It has this kind of like weird thing. Let me see if I can get my thing to focus on it. There we go. Um, and so you can see the fact that it has that really nice membrane. I can actually pull on this a little bit. Like it's rubbery, it feels inflated, and if you look at it compared to the size of a regular old egg, it's definitely bigger. Like we can see that the whole thing has absorbed a lot of, of the vinegar really, but it's really the water in there, um, and it's been it's swollen. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the blue egg, so I'm going to fast forward here. While I clean that second egg, let me tell you more about those bubbles. In the neutralization reaction, an acid reacts to the base to form water in a byproduct. In this case, that byproduct is carbon dioxide gas, which we saw earlier on the surface of the egg. Now, let's go back to that experiment. Okay, I'm having a lot of trouble with this one, and that is because we've only let it soak for 24 hours. So I'm gonna bring it up to here for you guys, show you again. So you can kind of see on the one side that was completely submerged in the vinegar that I've been able to remove the eggshell over there. But you can also see that yellow spot right there. Like, that's the yolk, we can see that. That is very exposed. But on this other side, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you, but right there, that whole circle right there, that's actually egg. Like, that's, that's hardcore shell sitting right there um, that I have not been able to remove at all. It's really, really thick. So on one side, the spot that's been in the vinegar completely submerged, I was able to successfully remove the membrane, but on the other side, not at all. So that's why we do two different things. I'm gonna quickly wipe all this like acid gunk off of my table. <laughs> Okay, so now we get to do the fun part. So I'm actually gonna take my gunky gloves off and let me move my vinegar containers over. And now I can bounce my egg. So let's see if it works. Whew, this makes me really anxious. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, it worked, it worked, it worked. Ah! <laughs> it's totally working. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so I am able to bounce an egg. And this is a real egg, you guys. There's no magic to it or anything like that. What we have is an egg that has a membrane that is so thick on the outside right here that's underneath the shell that it is completely protecting the yolk and everything else, all the gunk that's in there, the egg white and the egg other, the yolk itself. Um, it's completely protecting it. And so I can bounce my egg. Now, if I did it like this, I probably, I don't even know. I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. Guys, we made a bouncing egg.